Nicole Lee here from Engadget and uh, with our, my fellow editor, Dan Cooper. Hello. And we're talking to you, Horace Luke, um, and your company is called Gogoro. Is that the correct, correct pronunciation? It's called Gogoro. Gogoro, okay. And um, it's a very interesting sort of effort you guys have coming out, come out with. It's not just the battery, which is you see here. It's a whole infrastructure, a battery swapping infrastructure. You've introduced a smart scooter here at the Consumer Electronics Show. And the interesting thing about this scooter is that um, there's, no, there's no charging involved here. You just you swap the batteries out. Is that right? Well, as you look at, you know, mega cities growing um, with more and more people living in it, you know, and some people say, well, this, it's going to double in the next 20 years. Mm -hmm. We, you know, as we, Matt Taylor and myself, my co-founder, as we travel around different parts of the cities, we look at EV adoption and thought, wow, you know, finding the right spot to park for, you know, an hour or two to, so they can actually charge a battery is really a non-starter when it comes to motivating people to switch over to a cleaner energy source. And, you know, with our new technology that we announced, we can actually swap a battery as quick as six seconds. So the idea is to completely bypass uh, the shift into a you know a, a charging uh, I, you know charging an EV, but yeah. really just swap and go in six seconds or less. Do you see this um, as making EVs more accessible to the mainstream? Well, if you look at uh, how people move about in, in cities and yeah. big cities around the world, two-wheel transportation is actually very uh, very popular. Uh, it takes a lot less energy to move people from point A to point B with two wheels than it does with four wheels. Parking is more convenient. Um, it makes the battery actually uh, carryable by, by, by your hands. Uh, that makes swapping a, a possibility. Uh, and of course, we partner up with Panasonic as a strategic partner to develop our, our battery technology when it comes to energy cells. But the entire solution is Gogoro's, and, and we're very proud of that. Um, so, do you plan on deploying these battery stations across cities? Like, how do you plan on implementing this in a, you know, in, in all those different towns in the world? Well, we look at uh, the amount of people in the in the city. Uh, of course, density matters. Uh, the more people there are in a in a mega city, the more need there is for a differentiated, innovative, uh, you know, infrastructure like the GoGoRo Energy Network. Um, then we select the city and say, okay, well, there's enough people in a side of the city that would actually depend on two-wheel transportation and then be able to then deploy it in those cities. I have to ask, why a scooter versus a car? Well, in an in a electric car, uh -huh. um, by nature, an electric car is a lot more efficient than a, than a, than a gas car. But you're still carrying a, around a, a stereo system, some speakers, sofas, you know, glass, window, steel. You know, there's a lot to haul around. And if you look at a vehicle, such as a, a two-wheel vehicle, like a scooter, uh, our smart scooter doesn't have to carry all that. Uh, it actually is very energy efficient compared to a four-wheel vehicle. Mm -hmm. You can get, you know, a similar distance with a lot less energy. And your smart scooter is also not just your ordinary scooter. It's a very high-performance scooter, yeah? It's, you know, we, we looked at, um, you know, to, to as, as Matt and I were looking at different uh, different different products you know, around the world, you know, the more innovative a product is, the more exciting a product is, uh, the more you can convince a consumer to switch over to that product. And you know, it's a, really a chicken and egg question. You know, we, we, I, I always joke and say, you know, granola bar, nobody likes to eat granola bars, but if a granola bar has you know, chocolate <laughs> and a marshmallow in it, you know, it makes it a lot tastier. In our case, the vehicle is high performance, it makes it really exciting when you come, okay. come off the red, red light. Um, it's very stylish and it's beautiful in design. I'm very proud of the team and what they did on the design. Um, and when it comes to efficiency and overall uh, usability of it, it's very innovative. It's very connected to the cloud. Um, it's you know every 10 minutes, all the data is you know sent up to the cloud. It's for the the vehicle health condition, the riding condition, your usability condition, mm -hmm. so that we can improve upon your user experience. That makes a very a smart, um, I would say, a, a smart and innovative product. And hence, we called it the smart the scooter. smart scooter. I have to ask about your history. You were with HTC before this, and you were with Microsoft for a few years as well. How has your experience in consumer electronics informed your um, your GoGoRo experience. Well, you know, this is my uh, fourth industry. I've yeah. I try to I try to innovate upon. Yes. Uh, really, it's about global impact. Mm -hmm. um, as we look around mega cities around the world, um, what are we doing as individuals to make sure that 
people are, you know, and our consumers are not only enjoying new products, but also making changes to sustainability, to uh, improving upon our living circle. Um, I would say that you know all the all the learnings and and, and histories I've had with uh, the different companies you mentioned, Microsoft, HTC, where you know the team and myself was instrumental in, in, in creating lots of smartphones. A lot of people thought I went to HTC to create smartphones, but you know the 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 the, the thesis was to bring the internet to your pocket. Bringing connectivity to you would change the way you live. Uh, as Matt and I travel around different parts of the world, uh, we, looked at, we looked at the needs of new cities and, and, and how energy was something that nobody had thought about. Yeah. Uh, if you look at gasoline, gasoline was invented you know, over 150 years ago. And if you look at electricity, uh, innovation has been very limited. Mm -hmm. uh, we think that is something very exciting for us. We, we, the, you know, the, the thesis is uh, you know, just create things that change people's lives and hence change the world. And, and that's what we have done to, to uh, you know, with, with this Google Energy little network. battery right here. Um, Dan, do you have any questions to ask, Horace? So I guess uh, the one question I have is, um, how much is it going to cost in, from a you know, from a user's perspective, are they going to be renting the batteries or are they going to be subscribing to the overall program in order to make this affordable enough? Because I guess even a smaller battery is going to be quite expensive. Well, of course, this week we announced the, the GoGoRo Smart Scooter that we just talked a lot about. And then along with it, the GoGoRo Energy Network, which allows you to swap batteries. The whole idea is that you, you buy the vehicle uh, and you subscribe to an energy plan that allows you to swap the batteries. Uh, you don't own the battery. So the worry of you know, the battery you know, retiring early or you know, similar to your smartphone, that the first day we get a lot, of, a lot of juice out of it and then a couple of years down the road, the battery is irrelevant. We really think that that is uh, a paradigm shift in owning an EV and experience. And we want to make, not only is, is it financially reasonable, but also from a, from a convenience and usability perspective, um, groundbreaking. Okay. I'm excited by this. I think that's a very interesting thing. You have to talk a little bit about what do we do with the batteries once they're sort of half used. You have, you have a plan for that as well, yeah? Well, we, you know, as, as you know, <laughs> but, you know we, we talked a little bit about this before. Yes. Uh, batter this is the part that actually gets me very excited. Okay. The, you know, the, the battery, as you look at smartphones today um, and other devices, batteries have a certain life cycle yes, in the beginning, do. about you know, 20 or 30% into it, uh, it starts degrading a lot. And when you're swapping batteries, it's hard to say, well, today I got uh, you know, 60 miles out of it, and then the next day I'm getting an older battery and I got only, let's say, you know, 40 miles or 50 miles out of it. That, that deviation is unacceptable. Uh, right. Gasoline is gasoline, and, and batteries should behave similarly. Um, for us, what's get exciting is, is that the battery then can retire off from the transportation grid into an energy grid that allows you, you know, our customers, our uh, infrastructure to maybe charge batteries night, at night and empower buildings and servers and other, other things that, that requires a lot of energy during the daytime. Therefore, hence, you know, if you look at the, 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 the daytime energy use, you know, is often much greater than the nighttime, such as early morning, the, the middle of the day to the evening time. Right. We can equalize that. And that's, right. that's really exciting for us is to, is to accommodate you know, more and more people to move into mega cities without jeopardizing the, the energy um, you know, the, and the dependency of the, of the energy uh, to cause blackouts and others. Make, uh, to, make, to make cities use energy smarter. Yeah, really, really about using smarter, cleaner, and more connected energy. Uh, being able to know when and where you need energy, mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's something that we, we get excited about when we talk about right. uh, what, we're, what the vision is. Very exciting. So if people want, want to know more about the product, you can go to gogoroad.com and find out more, a little bit more about it. Um, Horace, thank you so much for coming to our stage and telling everyone more about uh, Gogoro. Thanks, Nicole. Thank you.